Hello ladies and gentlemen, well a second point release of Ubuntu 18.04 has been released. Well, I think that was about last week or week before perhaps. A little bit late on uh, noticing this, despite the fact that last month I saw some of the hardware enablement packages appearing, kind of uh, probably more for beta testing. Um, yeah, my bad. Anyway, there's a long list of changes in the system, um, bug fixes, quite a lot of bug fixes really. Yeah, more than I would realize, but yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything uh, special here, really. Mentions about LibreOffice being uplifted, but I've just checked the old 0.1 release version to the 0.2 release, and it doesn't really appear to be any difference there, or at least not different at first glance, unless the, unless the package is updated, but the version of the application has not updated. Who knows? Ubuntu repositories can be a bit funny this way because you could have a really vulnerable, outdated application but actually has the vulnerabilities patched. Just the version has not been uplifted because Ubuntu don't really change major package versions. Unless it's things like browsers, then yeah, it's a different matter. That's a long list of changes. I'm, I'm not even reading through it. <laughs> I've had a look through, but yeah, there's nothing particularly good and impressive. What we do get though is a new hardware enablement stack. This is a newer release of the kernel version. I think that this is the kernel that's in Ubuntu 18.10, and you can have a newer version of Xorg as well. So if you install the Ubuntu 18.04.2 ISO file, you will get these new kernel and Xorg versions immediately. But if you're running the older system, well, you don't, but you can manually upgrade. So to confirm the difference between the two releases, this is Ubuntu 18.04.1, with kernel 4.15. Whereas with the new 0.2 release ISO file, we have Linux kernel 4.18. So to get the new kernel version, using the instructions they have supplied on the wiki with the older apt-get, okay, we can't complain though, it, it does work. So anyway, you can do sudo apt-get install dash dash install dash recommends linux hyphen generic hyphen hw hyphen 18.04. That will give you the new kernel version. I've never had a problem running this part of the command. New kernel versions are very easy to do, and it's very easy to roll back should you have any problems. If you get stuck at booting up, you need to get the grub screen to appear, and that is holding down the left shift key just after your BIOS screen. That will make the grub boot screen appear, and you can select the older kernel version from the list. And if you want Xorg as well, it's xserver-xorg-hwe-18.04. Yeah, I'm expecting it can't find a package here. Oh, look at that stupid mistake there. I didn't put a space between them. Difficult to tell that when they're on different lines. My bad. So yeah, new packages to be installed. Let's take a look at what will have happen. So with new packages to be installed, yep, no problem. A few suggested packages, that's fine. But the following packages will be removed. That's all the old xorg packages. If your system says anything different at this point, just stop. Don't do the xorg package upgrade. You may well risk quite a bit of breakage on applications. We have no problems here for me. So yeah, I can just do that upgrade. Anyway, this just covers getting new kernel and xorg server versions. That's a completely optional thing. If you're already running Ubuntu 18.04, the standard upgrades will uplift you to Ubuntu 18.04.2. So I've rebooted Ubuntu, so let's check out what version numbers we have. Uname-A confirms I now have the Linux kernel 4.18. And LSB released a confirms I am running Ubuntu 18.04.2 long-term support. So that was the news that the 0.2 release of Ubuntu 18.04 has been released. I thought I would also mention that the older long-term support release of Ubuntu version 16.04 is coming up to the 0.6 release. I see that's Lubuntu in urgent need of testers. To be honest, I'm still surprised they are supporting it, because I thought for the Lubuntu derivative, the support time was about three years, which would be up about now. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.